Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another Sims 4 base game tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can build these round skylights. As you can see, they are beautiful. And this here is my most recent base game mansion. You can find it in the gallery. Just in case someone is going to ask, my ID is Kate Emerald. And I built these beautiful skylights. And we are going to jump right in now. And I'm going to show you how to build these step by step. You won't need any packs. You don't need CC. And you won't need any mods so really just the base game so i've built a gigantic room just to build the skylights on top of course you can add them to any house so this is just a, a sad big room <laughs> just to show you guys okay so we are starting off with building a round foundation and down here you can see that we have different types of round foundation pieces and I'm always using those with a fence attached to them and I'm going to show you why so we are going to use this one over here and I'm going to combine four of them just so you can see what's going on and as you can see this is not a perfect circle but we want to have a perfect circle so I'm going to delete all of them over here and now I'm left with this one and first I'm using the sledgehammer tool you can also press K on your keyboard and I'm hovering over this area and you can see that it turns yellow and now I'm clicking and I'm dragging my mouse and you can see that the fence is selected because it's yellow and now I'm letting go of the mouse button and it's deleted. I'm explaining this because whenever I'm talking about these foundations, a lot of you tell me that you can't delete the fence. So this is how to do it. And now I'm clicking on my foundation piece. I'm activating the grid and I make it smaller on both sides. And now, because I made it smaller, when I copy this and when I turn this into a circle, it's a perfect circle. And this is what we are going to use for this tutorial. So I can simply copy any floor piece by clicking on copy. So this is what we can do. We can simply add a fence to it and then we can just duplicate our windows to just place a lot of windows I guess it just makes it easier so we have different fences in the base game and I like to use this one down here I can also recommend this one and I'm just going to add it to this foundation piece and now as I've said I could copy it if I wanted to and now I could place it on the room already but we're going to add a platform first and I'm going to show you why. When I'm placing my round foundation piece over here, you can see that this gap is super visible. And in my opinion, it doesn't look as horrible when we add a platform to this roof. And this is what we are going to do. So now I'm simply building a platform on that roof and I drag it like this. And then I want to click on this arrow to make it one step higher. And now when I pick up my round foundation piece, you can see that you can barely tell that there is like this weird, horrible shape. So I can move the platform over a bit just so you can see the comparison over here. Look at this, this is looking really good and this isn't looking good. So you should definitely use a platform for this, which is also part of the base game. Of course, if you don't have platforms in your game, you should totally update your game and you will see them. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the sledgehammer tool. Again, you could simply press K on your keyboard and I'm removing the ceiling and this is what we got. So now, of course, we don't want to have a hole in the ceiling. We want to have a proper skylight. And for this, I'm going to roofs and I select the circular roof. I place it in the center and then I click on the arrow and make it as flat as possible. And then when I go to roof patterns, I can simply select this solid sheet glass roof, which is of course also part of the base game. I actually deactivated all other packs here, so I only have the base game here right now. So you can see that it's legit just the base game. And now I have some glass over here, so it's a proper skylight. And as you can see down here, you even see the sun like this. Unfortunately, you can tell that there's like this weird going on but it's barely visible 
And if you make the platform lower, it gets more visible. And if you make it too high, this happens. And as I said earlier, there are different base game fences that I can recommend. But when you use the other one, it's a bit slimmer and it, okay, now it's acting weird, but it's, as you can see here, it's, it's a lot slimmer and you can see this area over here a lot more. So this is why I recommend the monolithic wall for this. This is the best base game fence for this method. I'm going to undo this and I think it looks pretty beautiful. Now let's talk about the different foundation sizes. When it comes to the round foundation pieces that I like to use, there are different sizes. To create this skylight, we've used this one, which is this one down here, and they come in bigger sizes, and I've turned them into round foundation pieces already, so you can see what's going on. So technically, these are the three sizes that you could use to create a skylight. You could even create a huge one, but there's a problem. You have to keep something in mind and I'm going to show you what's going on. So I'm going to quickly attach a fence to my foundation pieces. And now when I'm using this one, for example, when I move it over here and when I remove the floor in the center, you can see that this gap is really, really big. So over here, you can't really tell that there is a gap. I mean, when you zoom out, you can't really see it. I mean, when you look closely, it's there, but it's not too bad. But this one, it is really bad. It doesn't look too good. So if you want to use a bigger size, you have to hide the gap. And what you could do is you could go down here to your platform trims and there are different trims and some of them have like some type of thicker edge at the top. This one here, for example, as you can see, this one is already filling in the gap. I could also use a white one and then I only have to match the floor color to the trim and this way you can hide the gap. And when you look at the gap itself, you can barely tell that it's here over here. It's basically the same as this one. So this is what you have to keep in mind. Otherwise, it's not going to look good. It's really, really easy to hide this if you use this black trim over here, for example, and then when you apply a black floor, you can see that it's not visible anymore at all, but it works with any color. As I said, you just have to match your floor to the trim and you can hide the edges in this way. You can create different sizes and even big skylights. And just in case you were wondering, because I know that this is a common question when it comes to tutorials like this, weather, rain, snow, anything is not an issue. So as you can see right now, the light is like the way the light is in an open room when a room is not fully closed. And this is because we haven't added a glass roof to this yet. I'm just going to copy this one and I'm going to build a roof over here. And as you can see, the light has changed. This is a fully closed room now. And when your sims are inside this room, the light is acting perfectly normal. You won't have freezing sims or anything. So it's really important that you add this roof because as you can see, as soon as it's removed, you have this type of light again and weather might be a problem. So don't forget to add the glass roof, really important. And this is it. Now you know how to create these wonderful skylights. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And once again, you only need the Sims 4 base game for this. No mods, no CC, no packs, just the base game. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to get back to you if you leave a comment and I'm going to help you. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope your Sims will enjoy some fancy skylights. And I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.